This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into it, check out the Instagram post or the Best Box app for the warm up. Get ready for the workout by increasing your heart rate, increasing your body temperature, and maybe you're starting to swell a little bit before you get into it. For today's strength portion, we're starting the workout with dumbbell floor presses. The dumbbell floor press is obviously going to be done on the floor. This is going to be done as five sets of five repetitions. The, idea, the couple ways you can look at um, approaching this, one, you can work towards adding, uh, work towards a heavy five reps if you have a lot of weights available to you. If you don't have a whole lot of weight selection and you don't really, you'd rather focus more on um, endurance, then we can focus on muscle endurance by building to a moderate, warming up to a moderately heavy weight and then use that one weight across all five sets. Towards the end, muscle fatigue will start to set in and the last couple reps should feel more, a little bit more difficult than the initial. Dumbbell floor, floor press is gonna be done on the floor. Easiest way to get set up is to start with the dumbbells on your knees in your hands. As you lay down, you're gonna be able to lay down and have the dumbbells in position here. You wanna have our elbows at about a 45 degree angle. You can flatten your low back into the floor, get some core activation there, and you're going to press the weights out in front of you, straightening out the arms, and then bring them back down slowly until your elbows touch the floor. Do your five reps here. You can focus on tempo if you like to. Uh, so that would be fast up, pause for a little bit at the top, and then a slow and controlled descent. So the, more, the slower you go on the way down, the more difficult it's gonna be. Time under tension is the factor there. If you want to get a little bit more core activation and to get a little bit more uh, lower body activation, we can press low back and forth and then bridge, so squeeze the glutes and press the hips up into the ceiling while maintaining a tight midline as we're doing so. And go into your floor presses here. A little bit more difficult if you want to add a little bit of challenge to the movement. Once you're done, your five sets of five at the dumbbell floor press, then you can move on to the Metcon. The Metcon today is dumbbell baseline. It's a four time workout. We're gonna go through it one time, starting with 100 mountain climbers, 40 air squats, 30 sit ups, 20 hand release push ups, and then you're gonna finish it off with 10 dumbbell bent over rows. The RX weight for the men is 50 pounds and the RX weight for the ladies is 35 pounds. If you're not quite up to that weight, then pick a weight that you can do those 10 reps unbroken. You shouldn't need to put the dumbbells down during that last set. Let's take a look at the movement. So the mountain climbers want to make sure that we have a nice solid midline that we're really embracing our core as we're going through this movement. So we want, don't want the hips to sag. We want to squeeze the uh, squeeze our abs and kind of pull our rib cage down towards our pelvis. That's going to bring our hips up and I'm going to have a nice solid plank position here. The mountain climbers, 100 reps of driving the knees to the elbows, one drive, one elbow to the knee, one knee to the elbow is one rep. So bringing my knee up to here is one, two, and we want these to be fast. So as you're doing it, avoid bouncing in the hips and avoid rotating in the hips. So we want to keep the hips nice and stable, keep them square, try not to move in the hips. Nice and solid here. Each drive of the legs or each march is going to be one rep. You're going to do 100 of those. It's going to be fairly fatiguing. It's going to get your heart rate up. So if you need to uh, pick a way that you're going to break up those 100 reps, maybe you do five sets of 20. Maybe you do four sets of 25. Maybe you do two sets of 50. Or maybe you're able to do all 100. You can use the dumbbells as handles if you want to and kind of give yourself a little bit more elevation. This is going to place a little bit of a different uh, hold on the uh, pressure on the shoulders as you're holding the dumbbells is just going to be a little bit different. You can go into your mountain climbers here. So think as you're doing that, think drive the elbows, try to drive your knees to your elbows or drive your knees to your chest. From there, you're going to go ahead and stand up and you're going to go into air squats. Air squats, sitting down to a visible chair. Just want to make sure that we keep the chest somewhat upright. We can have some forward lean, but as we go down, Want to make sure where eyes are looking straight ahead. Uh, I like to have my hands up. Give me, keep my chest up. If I bring my hands down, 
chances are I'm gonna to start to lean forward a little bit too much. Wanna make sure as we're doing so, we're able to maintain a neutral spine and try and get the hips below the knees for a full depth squat. If you find that as you go down, you get to a point where you get a little bit too low and you start to kind of collapse, then just kind of bring it up a little bit and go only as low as you can maintain a nice posture. Following those 40 air squats, you're gonna move into 30 sit-ups. The 30 sit-ups, you can use a cushion to kind of help your low back if you have low back issues, or you can use a pad there that's gonna assist you in the sit-up. But when you do the sit-ups, press your low back on the floor and bring the chest, squeeze your abs, bring the shoulders off the floor, and then throw the hands between the legs, touch your ankles, touch your toes, get full reps, full range of motion, and keep a neutral spine as you do so. Kind of reach forward, lead with the arms and chest, and full range. From there, third, uh, go into 20 hand release push-ups. Maintain the same uh, nice position that you had for the mountain climbers. So really bracing through here, have a nice rounded lower back, and have the hips and shoulders about the same level. Hand release push-ups, nice and braced here. I'm gonna go all the way down to the floor. Chest should be the first thing to touch the floor, and if I stay engaged, my legs won't touch the floor here. Hands off, hand release, plant, press back up. If you need to, you can go to your knees, but if you're doing so, really make sure that you're pushing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes, down, release, press back to this position. Notice I have a nice straight position from my hips, legs, into my torso and shoulders. Last movement of the workout, finish off with 10 bent over rows. Grab your dumbbells, stand them up all the way, and then you're going to bend over at the waist, into the hips. Don't bend the knees too much, send the hips back. Maintain a nice neutral spine, flat back, shoulders engaged, and you're gonna pull the elbows back, bringing the dumbbells up to your torso for 10 reps. Should be able to touch the dumbbells to your rib cage, and then drop it back down. Nice, slow and controlled movements here. Once you've gone through that list one time through, record your time, how long that took you, that's your score. Get after it and have fun.